Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Drew here today. We're going to be checking out Ruby Volume 4, Episode 8. A much needed talk. Now, I'm not going to do too much. I know I always say this. I'm not actually going to do too, like, a recap this one because I have finally convinced myself to watch these episodes back to back to back and get stuff loaded for the Patreon. So, this is like the Patreon arc of the channel. Like, if, if you want the content, check out the Patreon. The cheapest tier is for all the Ruby stuff. So, please. If you have an extra five dollars you know check it out if you only if you can though only if you can because i'm really going to start dumping all the ruby content because like i mentioned i'm starting a channel with my friends and we're going to be reacting to ruby over there so i have to make sure that we don't catch up to where i'm at over here because i want you guys to get all my first reactions so please i implore you check out the patreon it's going to be like skyrocketing ahead like we'll probably be a whole volume or two ahead at some point um with that out the way if you just want to see it on youtube which is completely fine it'll all come out on youtube eventually you don't have to go to the patreon it just helps support the channel and you guys get more content but hey if, like i said if you like the youtube content like and subscribe because there's more of it to come and without further ado let's just get straight into this episode we ended on a, like uh not really a, i guess a cliffhanger like crow was like we need to talk <laughs> really no questions? No questions? They asked like Wish three. Questions. This is just a lot to take in. Yeah. Oh wait, did they talk? Sure, of course. Are we not gonna see the talk? I wanna see the talk. So these maidens, they're powerful fighters that don't need dust to use magic. Yeah. And there are four of them? Yep. Yep. Always. Yep. Which means that whenever one of them dies, There's the power one. transfers to someone, a female, that they care about. Whoever was in their thoughts last. Does it have to be a female? I guess maiden. Best option. It's someone we can trust. Regardless, their souls become combined. I guess yes. Way. Combined. And that's what you were trying to do to Pira. The night the tower fell. Ooh, that stings. But I want to put a pin in it. Um. I, I'm throwing this out there, but it's, it might sound stupid since they just said female. Could Ozpin be a maiden? Because like I said, they share thoughts, and that's exactly what, you know, is going on with Ozpin right now. You're trying to turn her into one of them. The previous fall maiden, Amber, had been attacked. She was young and experienced, and her assailant, who we now know as Cinder, somehow managed to steal some of her power some so always. people can steal some of it we were afraid that if we didn't do something interesting the rest would go to her as well right so you forced it on pira we didn't force anything yeah john you Explained weren't there the situation and gave her a choice and she chose you were there you heard her she wanted to do it man don't hold a grudge on them don't hold a grudge, man. That guy, Tyrion. Why was he after me? <sighs> well, you definitely painted a target on your back with what you did at Beacon. Yeah. I told you having silver eyes is a rare trait. You, uh, and you messed some fact stuff that up, Ruby. that was able to use them seems to have upset some very powerful people. Real. Not many people know about the silver eyes. Mm. But those that do aren't very happy that one has surfaced. That's why I've been keeping an eye on you. Wanted to make sure you were safe. Gotcha. All of you. Well, then, <sighs> why not just travel with us? It seems like that would have been way easier. True. <laughs> he was using you as bait. Wow. Look, I wouldn't put it like that. It's complicated. What? Damn, I'm not gonna lie. John might be onto something. He's all of this. He Ruby's might be onto hunted. something. The schools are being attacked. All for what? What is the point of all of this? Will you just tell us what's going on? Okay, so he feels like he's being lied to. Which, honestly, I kind of feel like I'm being lied down. to. You're stressing me out. If y'all are being lied to, <laughs> I know just as much as you. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. Not many people are super religious these days. I see the cross. This world's been around for a long time. Long enough that people have created dozens of gods. 
But if you believe Ozpin, two of them are actually real. Okay. They're brothers. The older sibling, the god of light, found joy in creating forces of life. Meanwhile, mm. the younger brother, the god of darkness, spent uh -oh. his time creating forces of destruction. I'm guessing the Grim? As you can imagine, they both had pretty different ideas about how things should go. The older one would spend his days creating water, plants, wildlife. So my dude is literally now God. His brother would wake to see all the things that the elder had made and become disgusted. To counteract his brother's creations, the God of Darkness brought drought, fire, famine. Hmm. All that he could do to rid Remnant of life. Life always returned. So one night, the younger brother went and made something. Something that shared his innate desire to destroy anything and everything. Not good. The creatures of Grimm. Yeah, okay, so I was right. He made the Grimm. The older brother had finally had enough. Knowing that their feud couldn't last like this forever, he proposed that they make one final creation. And that together. is? Something they could both be proud of. Their masterpiece. They're complete opposites. What the could they be proud of? Reed. Together. What the heck this is last this? This great creation would be given the power to both create and destroy. And that it would is? Be given the gift of knowledge so that it could learn about itself and the world around it. Humans? And most importantly, it would be given the power to choose. To have free will to free take will. everything it had learned and decide which path to follow. The path of light or the path of darkness. Ah, balance, I guess. And that is how humanity came to be. That's a pretty neat way to put it. But what does that have to do with us? Well, that's the kicker. See, the four gifts to mankind, knowledge, creation, Destruction and choice uh -huh. aren't just metaphorical. Each of them exists in a physical form, left behind by the gods before they abandon Remnant. And each of them is extraordinarily powerful. Gotcha. If someone were to collect all four, they'd be we're able cooked. to change the world. And that's exactly what, what the enemy yeah, wants. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. The Huntsman Academies were created to train generations of humanity's protectors. But they also serve another purpose. Guard What's that? the relics. When Ozpin's predecessor found so you guys the know where they are? He built them around the relics to act as a fortress. Oh. Not only would they be easier to defend, but they would be constantly surrounded by trained warriors. That's actually good, because I was literally thinking in the back of my mind, do they know where all the relics are? <sighs> I just had a thought, like, um, could they have just like could somebody good just take all of them? And use them, and like then we have a good power force. But I guess I don't know. It'd be tough to agree upon who takes it. Yeah, so I can see why they did it. That hiding the relics would keep mankind from using them against itself. Yeah. And of course, keeping them out of her reach. Try not to end humanity. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Her. You mean Salem? Salem. That's right. Not much is known about her, and quite frankly, Menacing. that's not what matters. She got aura when I hear her right name. now is that she wants the relics. Yeah. And if she gets them, it's not going to end well. Absolutely. Something I never get is, like, the people who are following, like, the main villain. Like, you do realize, like, like, Cinder, uh, Frick, forgot their names, uh, Neptune, Neptune, uh, all, all of them like that are helping her. Tar Tarion, like I guess he's just crazy as frick, but you know what do they get out of it? Is what I really want to know. Like, cause she just wants to like end humanity, you know. <laughs> or I guess I guess I don't know where he's at goal, but it's nothing good, you know. It's nothing good. You know, Blake. Oh my God, we actually go in and say feel like hi. I haven't seen her in a minute. I don't want to bother him. Who? A father's never too busy for his daughter. Oh. Not all of my friends would agree with you on that. Aww. Here. What? 
Where are you going? You've never been very talkative, but that boy you brought home loves to run his mouth. <laughs> I want to hear more about the adventures of Team Ruby. Awesome. Carly, is that you, dear? That man, that man never stops talking. Uh, hey, Dad. Blake. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. I Is he like the Please, mayor? Come sit. I know he's like kind of the leader of the white thing, right? Don't worry, I've got it. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I don't want to keep you if you're nonsense. I've been cooped up in here all day. You still take sugar, right? Oh, actually, uh... Oh, sorry. No, 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 it's fine. Oh, here, take this one. No, really, it's it's no big deal. You can tell you they sure? haven't talked in a while. Positive. I'm feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> Old habits, I suppose. <laughs> Might want to let it cool. Right. 100%. So, is it... Uh, Warm in Vail? Huh? It just seems like your outfit doesn't cover very much. Oh my gosh. It covers plenty. Classic I mean, dad. More armor might help, don't you think? I'm fine. I don't need armor. I can look <laughs> after myself. I <sighs> This is the most awkward I start to a can. to a reunion. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why? Hmm? Why what? Why would you say that? Huh? Sweetheart, what's wrong? What happened? What did, did I miss? I say? Did I miss some? How can you still love me after what I did? What happened? Blake. Your mother and I will always love you. Huh? You were right. I shouted at you and yelled at you. But okay. you were right. There's actually I something I cowards. missed. It's okay. I should have left the White Fang with you and Mom. I should have listened to you, and I'm sorry. Oh, they left before her. I'm so, so sorry. Black, wow. it's fine. We never held anything against you, and I never feared you would fail. Aww. The only thing I ever feared was that you would fall down the wrong path. And I am so proud to see you have it. But I did. What do you mean? It was... And you pulled yourself out. You came back. There aren't many who possess that kind of strength. Real. Even fewer that have the courage yo, to face yo, their w, demons again. W dead. Vale, Mountain Glen, Beacon. You confronted the White Fang time after time. I didn't do it alone. No, you didn't. Which is why I wanted to ask you. Why did you leave Vale? Why did you leave your friends behind? Mm, good question. Because I've been wondering uh, the same thing. Son? And son. Every time we about to get answered a damn question, my boy. You just come out of nowhere. I, oh, oh, Blake's dad is not happy, dude. Oh, whoa! This isn't the bathroom! Uh, I'll just be going! Sorry to interrupt this tender family moment! <laughs> he was listening. I really don't like you. <laughs> Damn, right. I really want to know why she left. So let's say we believe all of this. There really is this crazy evil being behind these attacks, not just some thugs trying to become powerful. Mm. Why doesn't the world know? Why isn't Atlas going after them, or Mistral? And why aren't we in more of a hurry to get to Haven? Shouldn't we be getting them a message? What if they're next? Because the headmaster over there saw what happened to Beacon. He's not dumb. He'll be on his guard. Besides, it takes time to mobilize forces like that. Do you really think they planned out that attack on Beacon overnight? And to answer True. your question, Actually. it's the same reason we keep quiet about the Maidens. If the whole world knew about the relics, about Salem. More people to go chaos. after them. We'd have another Absolutely. great war on our hands, and this yeah. time you'd have to fight. Every power 
Force would want them to become more powerful, Look, you know? I had the same questions, too. But Oz Penn always put his foot down. We can't cause a panic. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've heard that. Yeah. Salem smucked. Sounds like him. She works from the shadows, using others to get what she wants. So that when it comes time to place the blame, we can only point at each other. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting really nervous that they're like, she uses shadows, and then I'm just seeing this ginormous tree with a big old shadow. Is she listening currently? That would be nuts. She's trying to divide us. Humanity. And so far, she's done a pretty damn good job. When, oh my god, yeah, because when all this freaking veil stuff happened, everybody was like divided, dude. Like all, all right. Team Ruby split up and so what should we do? the news. Whew. <laughs> I don't really know. Haas Penn has put a lot of trust in the headmasters. Like mm. I said, the schools are an important part of stopping Salem. Atlas is going to be on high alert after the last attack, and Vacuo is, well, Vacuo. 100%. It will be hard to hire thieves and scoundrels to fight against other thieves and scoundrels. Take that. Fair. Add in the fact that Cinder and her crew claim to be from Haven, and I think it's likely the next target. So, we're on our way to the headmaster. Okay, so Haven is heard from him in a while, pretty even much next. before the attack. I'm hoping he has the answers. Who is the headmaster? <laughs> All right. Is he talking about? Does he... Okay. Does Crow know about Ospin? Is he refer? I don't think he's referring to Ospin. I might. I might be wrong. Cause I'm just sitting here wondering, does Crow know about Ozpin's like how he's like currently, you know, a, a voice in someone's head? I guess is the best way to describe it. Uh, like, it's, does, does, does Crow time know? You kids got some sleep. Uncle yeah. Crow. Yeah. This is a lot to take in, and it all sounds crazy, but. I'm willing to do whatever I can to help. Because I trust you. But why couldn't you trust me? Damn. Why couldn't you just travel with us instead of all of this secrecy and, and... Look, this has nothing to do with trust. I... It's a long story, okay? Seriously? Huh. Now you're tired of telling us stories? <laughs> You know the crows are a sign of bad luck. Damn. No superstition. But it's how I got my name. Damn. You see, some people can absorb electricity, and some people can burst into rose petals. And some people are just born unlucky. My mm. semblance isn't like most. It's not exactly something I do. It's always there. Whether I like it or not, I bring misfortune. <laughs> Tough. I guess you could call me a bad luck charm. I think that's a Comes literal too. Really handy when I'm fighting an enemy, but it makes it a little hard on friends and family. That's tough, well, but I guess it's smart. Bundle of help, aren't you? Yeah. Where are you going? Taking a walk. My boy did just get stabbed. There's nothing else you want to tell us? Anything else? Not tonight. Not tonight. No concept of privacy, no respect for personal space. I'm sorry, okay? Ow, I'm sorry. Ugh. Look, I promise it was important. I <laughs> needed to find you to talk to that you. That transition what, literally shocked son, me. What could be so important? I was talking to your mom and she said something weird about the white fang. I'm stopping you right there. 
But I told you, I'm not here to fight the White Fang. I'm not here to fight anyone. I'm here to rest, to figure things out, and to see my family. Your mom said White Fang members don't wear masks in Menagerie, but I saw one at the market yesterday. I even got a picture. Son. Look, I'm trying to help. I don't want your help. Damn. Mm. What was that? Oh, snap. Y'all are freaking ninja? <laughs> a spy. A but why would She's definitely from the White Fang, right? Hey, wait! What's happened? The White Fang is evil. I totally called it, and I'm bringing your daughter back. <laughs> Got a bad feeling about this one. Oh, wow, that scene's actually beautiful right here. Ooh. I'm sorry, guys, but when Blake, oh, when Blake <sighs> smacked him, that actually moving. shocked me, bro. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Is he gonna die, Mo? Crow better not die. Cause Crow is the type of guy to say he'll be fine and not be fine. Like he's that type of dude. I can just tell. Well, that's unfortunate. Um. Okay. I'm gonna choose not to get worried. <laughs> I'm gonna save my sanity. And if it happens, it happens, bro. Like, I'll get sad once I see it. But I'm gonna have high hopes that he makes it through because, I don't know, maybe they're like, no faking us out. Maybe I'm in denial. Who knows? Um, <clears throat> either way, that was a decent episode. I liked it. It kind of was like, tr I feel like the only problem with this episode was like, they were trying to fit in Blake's story and it was like, a little random. Like, I feel like this whole episode could have been about Ruby's crew, then they could have done like, next episode on Blake. That would have been better. <clears throat> I, didn't, I guess I didn't like the pacing, I guess. It wasn't terrible, but it was just like, I don't know. <laughs> like, very small increments of Blake, uh, Blake's story. But I didn't like that. Um, but yeah, I'm a little worried about Crow. I'm a lot of worried about Crow, actually. Hopefully he's... That's people. Deep breaths. I, I really hope he doesn't die, because... Bro, it's like every time I say, I remember, I remember. I'm getting flashbacks right now. I was like, Pura, Pura's become one of my favorite characters, guys. Dead dies a couple episodes later crow i i mentioned in the last video he's climbing my rankings he's becoming one of my favorite characters i swear if he dies i just can't win i'm gonna stop saying people are my favorite characters because i just know they're gonna die i'm cursed if, if crow dies i'm cursed um the things i wanted to bring up is like john being upset like i think i want to say he's overdoing it but I, I don't know bro like piero was pretty special to him so i get why he's upset but i I just know, I know it's not completely Crow's fault, but I think they should have never put Pira in that position because there had, there had to have been somebody else, somebody else, right? That's what I'm thinking. Like there had to be like somebody older, I guess. Like why didn't the, uh, I forgot her name. I'm, I'm really bad with names. You guys know this by now, but the, the girl who was with Ozpin, like the, the girl who can like fix stuff with her wand. Uh, forgot her name. I literally forgot her. I can't remember it for the life of me right now. But, like, why couldn't she do it? You know? There had to be somebody other than Pyrrha. So, it, I could see John thinking, like, she got forced into it. I don't think she got forced into it. I think she wanted to do it. I saw her perspective. She definitely wanted to do it. But it's an odd position to put on a, a kid. You know? For sure. No matter how you slice it, I feel like she should have never been in that situation. But, um... Yeah, that's just my thoughts, and I understand why John's upset, but I do think it's, like, it's not completely Crow's fault or anyone's fault, you know. They had to do what they had to do. Another thing I wanted to talk about was Weiss. Um, you know how Weiss, I used to hate her. If you watched, I, I wouldn't even say, hate's a strong word. I used to dislike her character. If you guys have been watching since Volume 1, I used to dislike Weiss so much, but she's gotten better. The only thing I hate about Blake is that she's too hard on herself, and that's still here, four seasons in. I, I'm just hoping... I'm just praying 
that Blake finally stops being hard on herself because it's the only thing I just don't like about her character. I just I'm constantly feeling bad for her because of how she feels about herself, but it's just it's never the case. But I was shocked. I'm not gonna lie, I was shocked hearing that her parents left the Blake uh the Blake the Black Fang before her, or White Fang. I'm tripping right now. It's hot. It's, it's like a 90 degrees in my room. I'm sweating, y'all. Um, but yeah, I was shocked to le uh, learn that they left before her. Um, ab absolutely. So I understand why she's hard on herself in that scenario. Cause, bro, I don't know if I'd be able to forgive uh, myself if I said some crazy stuff like that to my parents. Never have. Never. Never will. So yeah, I get that. But man, it's just a such a common theme. She's too hard on herself. Um, I guess we won't know until the, the fang is dead, man. Um, but also, last thing I want to talk about is, like, Crow being unlucky, how he said that. I think it's a little more than, like, oh, you know, I lost 20 bucks, you know. Um, I stubbed my toenail, or, you know, stuff like that, like, happening often. I think he's literally, like, he carries an unlucky aura because of his semblance. I think he literally means that, like, he is unlucky. But that begs me the question, why would you send him to watch a bunch of students? You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe have somebody else do that job? I don't know. Like, I'm sitting back here and I'm thinking, maybe I wouldn't send Crow if he has, like, an unlucky aura to him. Um, so, yeah. But that's all the things I wanted to bring up at the end of this episode. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Please do make sure to like, subscribe, comment, as I just said. Check out the Patreon. It's pretty cheap. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.